Hello, my name is Steve Dente, and I have developed a new product called the Gem Cutters Light Box. I've been buying rough around the world since the early 1970s. One of the biggest challenges you face buying rough is being able to examine the rough in a consistent light source, in a consistent manner, so that when you get back to your shop to cut it, it's as you expect it. In the old days, it was mostly sunlight where we looked at it, aided by a simple flashlight of some sort. But sunlight varies so much in times of year and so much depending on where you are in the world. It was difficult to get consistent color grading and clarity grading. That's also true of offices and also true of gem shows where everyone has their own version of lighting shining on their display cases. So I developed this box to give me the exact same lighting that I'm going to use when I preform, sort, price, and cut my stones so that I always get a consistent result. Okay, your gem, your gem light box will come in this simple priority mailbox. It was designed to fit in this box for easy and low price shipping. Open it, remove your light box. As you can see, it's a small package, easily portable. One of the key components of this box is that you can take it anywhere in the world. Shows in the bush in Africa or wherever else you happen to be buying rough, and it's easily portable and gives you the same light sources there as you have in your shop at home. I mean, truthfully, most of the time, this will live on your table, in your shop, where you use it for examining your rough. But it's completely portable and can be powered from a number of sources. Any USB charger or USB power source that's five volts or more can power this box. All right, the first thing we'll do is we'll take it out of its plastic protective wrapper, place it on the table. As you can see, inside is your accessory kit. Let me turn this so you can see it. First thing you'll find is a USB cable. You'll find a repair kit that has glue, has a little wrench that fits all the nuts and bolts on this, and an Allen key that fits the screw size. So wherever you are, you can fix anything that happens. It has a lanyard for hanging the box around your neck when you're walking a show or when you're just walking around with it. Easily transportable. It has some gemstone examination trays that you'll see how to use later, multiple size and uses, and it has a Lion battery power bank that also serves as an examination flashlight. So, let's, first thing we want to do is power up the box here on our desk. All it takes is a USB power source. Any phone charger will work as long as it has a micro USB plug. You'll plug it in here. And you'll you have two rotary knobs. One is for the daylight set of lights, and one is for indoor light. The daylight is about 6200 Kelvin and this is about 2700 Kelvin. So you can achieve any color light that you want between those two numbers, 6200 and 2700. Most of the time for looking at clarity, I'll just turn on one or the other because that saves battery. And you get a nice diffused light that lights up your stones. If I want to check for color change, I'll turn on the other one. If 
turn off that one. So you can also check for color shift in your stones, in the rough and in the cut, as you'll see. So that's how we normally use it. It has hooks here for your lanyard to attach around your neck. The box serves as the lighted, the light box. A reflective white surface, which is how a very important way of judging color. And the flashlight. So it has all these different light sources for you to use in examining your rough. So as an example, let's take a little parcel of garments. Typical of what you would see out in the bush or at a gym show. Just pour it out onto your light table. Spread them out. As you can see, you can see the interior very clearly lit like this. Turn that off. And now we just have daylight. Watch the color shift as garnets do during the different light sources. If there was a color change, it would be extremely obvious. Here. And so this is indoor light at 2700K. This is about halfway in between, which would be like a normal room light with incandescent lights. And this is daylight color. And as you can see, you can see the interior very easily. And I kind of want to check what my finished color is. I want to see it here. And then I just put it there and I get the reflected light test. So you'll see how dark, over dark or under dark that your stone is. When I want to do clarity, I will first look here. Then I'll pick up a piece, use my flashlight, go in sideways for the dark field illumination look, and you can see very clearly. By the time I've done all those tests, I will have sorted for color, color shift, clarity, and everything I need to know to make a good decision about this rough. So this example is garnet. Classic Tanzanian rhodolite garnet. Not color change stones, but like all garnets, in fact, most all gemstones, these shift in color. So I want you to see how important it is to have the different light sources. In today's world, light sources are really complicated because all countries have their own regulations. They, they use LED, fluorescent, incandescent, all kinds of different light sources, and all of them have different color temperatures depending on where you are and what light source actually is. So with this, let's look at daylight first. And you can see what a, what a nice bluish purple red this road light is. Keep in mind, this is not color change material, but it color shifts with the light source like almost every gemstone will. Then we go to a blended, and you can see that's your classic rotolite color. But at night indoors, you're going to be more closer to a 2700 degree Kelvin, and you can see how red and purple this becomes. Classic color shift that is caused not so much by the stone, but by the light source, which is why we want a light source that we fully understand. All right, now we're done with the road lights. Let's move on to a different stone that has different color and clarity issues. As you can see, very convenient to manage your rough with this light box. This area here of the lighted area of the light box is reset 
keep your stones in there from falling off the sides and to make them easy to scoop up and put away. Okay, here's another typical stones that you're going to run out when you're out buying stones in the bush or at a show. This is a partial of Congo tourmaline. See, we have a couple of tricolors, a couple of the blue greens, and the reddish browns. The first thing I do is I look at it here in the different colors, just so I can see. what they look like. You can see that blue-green is really blue in daylight. In the evening, it becomes more green. Important thing to know. Tourmaline being dichroic has an A, B, and a C axis. The greens will usually be either a closed C-axis where you can't see, or maybe a slightly more olive. And as you can see, you can see the difference in the color between the C and the A and B relatively easily. Also examining them in the different lights. Right? That'll decide, help you decide which color, which axis you want to cut them on for best color. The pinks and reds, tend to be, this is unheated and it will heat to a bright pink red. Has a lot of brown on the AB axis. So it's the opposite of the greens. The C axis is normally the prettier color on the pinks and reds, the rubelites. So we've used our light box here for color now. Now we'll take and we'll use it for clarity. We can see very well, as you can see, inside these stones. Tourmaline tends to have these little hairline cracks just around the skin that don't penetrate into the stone. But we want to verify that, particular on the reds, because we're probably going to end up heating them. And we want to know how clean is the inside. So we'll take out our flashlight, and you'll be able to see The C axis color as opposed to the AB axis color is strikingly different. So that's important to know. And we can really see the inclusions in with this flashlight. So again, we've been able to grade the color consistently under lights and the clarity to select the stones that we want to actually purchase because we know consistently what these colors and clarities will give us as a result because we always buy under the same light conditions. Okay, to this point, we've been looking at how I power this when I'm in my office. This sits next to my cutting machine or on my grading table and I power it off the wall, off a simple cell phone charger. But now let's say I'm going to a gem show or I'm going out in the field to buy some buff. I need to power it. This is a 3400 milliamp battery pack that you use to power this at the same time you use it for a flashlight. So all you need to do is unplug it from the wall, plug in your USB power supply, comes with it, and now you have a completely portable unit with flashlight with color changing, everything just like you have in your lab. So no matter where you are in the world, you're grading your rough, your rough consistently. And small, portable, hangs around your neck or off your belt when you're traveling in the shows. All its accessories fit 
inside the pack. So everything, when you're traveling, just goes in. Close it. Walk around with it. So it's its own pack, its own purse, its own pouch, its own light source, and its own battery pack. Complete set for traveling. So this battery power pack, we find lasts about two hours of con continuous use when you're inspecting rough. Um, so to get a full day out of it, you only turn on your power here in the box when you're actually looking at rough. The battery will supply the flashlight much longer than it will the box because the box has powerful lights in it and draws a lot of amperage. So around two hours for the box, all day for the flashlight. Um, but even if you run out of power here, all you need to do is plug the USB cord into any USB power supply. Any place you can charge a phone, it can run off your uh, USB port in your laptop computer. It can run off the USB ports in your cars. It's completely portable and you can supply it from any USB power source. So you should not want for power all day when you're out in the field. Finally, when dealing with rough, you often want to send a picture of a piece of rough or record it for your record so you know where it is. You can go back and find it at a show or send it to someone. So simple. Just use your phone. The lighting here is perfect. Boom. You've got a perfect color. You've got a perfect, perfectly lit image showing the interior of the rough and its true color. So it's really useful for sharing the rough you're looking at if that's what you need to do. So up until now, we've been looking at a pretty complete solution for grading and picking and buying rough. But none of us deal strictly enough. In fact, when we're cutters, our goal is to produce a cut stone. And this box does cut stones equally well as it does rough. So in order, when you switch to cut, you're going to want to turn this box over. You open it up, and it makes a nice locked opening. Your two light sources still work. And we've given you a number of accessory trays to make grading and looking at rough easy. This is the classic V-shaped stone tray. It's a pair of them. So you can do parcels laid out side by side, either reflecting from the top to give you a face-up view or face down in the side for doing colors like diamonds. So that's how you would grade and match your colors. You flip it over. Now you have a beautiful cut stone environment. This happens to be about a 10 carat, beautiful trip of AAA tanzanite. You can see this is the daylight color. Let's mix in a little incandescent type color. And you can see the red flashes. And now we can go pure evening colors. And you can see the stone shift to more purple. Classic tanzanite. Same lighting situations hold true for any kind of stone. So it's very easy. Another thing you want to do is take pictures. So... All you have to do is adjust the angle of your lights to properly light your stone. Lean your camera up against there to get the right angle of your stone. And boom, take a picture. You've got a beautifully exposed, properly colored picture of your stone. 
It works beautiful. So you can grade colored stones, show colored stones, either cut or rough. We also have this tray, which will hold a single stone. in a knob, which probably is a better way to take pictures to share. As you can see, great for taking photos. You can use our, you flip this over and you've got groups of holes. So you could take a small parcel of colored stones. Let's say, um, Partial yellow sapphires. And you can easily do a layout in here of a complete parcel for grading. Your color stones or take a picture. Simple. So you can see you get beautiful light in here. Very nice for sharing colored stones as well. So it's a pretty complete package. Rough, cut, consistent grading, consistent color, consistent clarity. Everything's consistent for a very reasonable price. If it saves you from buying one bad stone or gives you insight to a good stone, it's paid for itself the first time you use it. Okay, so that's a general overview of the capabilities of the Gem Cutters light box. When I'm off to a show or out in the bush, this is how I usually pack mine. I have a gem cloth. I have a set of calipers. I have a set of tweezers. I have the light, the power box, a USB cable, grading tray, and the all important microscope, which I use for examining the two different colors and dichroic stones. Put those in there, close it up, hang it around my neck, and I'm off to the show. Well, that's it for the Gem Light Box. I hope you enjoy it. Um, feel free to contact me if, if you have questions. Thank you very much.